here. Welcome back to another new episode of Let's Play Let's Limit Ratchet and Clank. Last time we got here and I actually had to turn off my console because I was done recording so I had to fight my way back here. So that's why I have full health now instead of one health unit missing is because I did a little bit better than last time. Anyways, I actually cut out at a really bad point last time and I didn't realize until I was in editing. Because as soon as we come out here... This is where the info bot was shot. Wow. Way to be a team killer, you genius. Way to be a team killer, genius. Good job. This is actually the end of this planet right here. We, well, it would be if we weren't gonna do a little bit something, something a little bit extra. But, yeah, this is, uh, this is where we get the pilot's helmet. Yes, it is. And as far as missions go, we are done with this planet. We could leave if we wanted to. But there's something extra, much like the first Gold Bolt area, that is going to give us a lot of stuff that we want. Namely, bolts. And also, combat experience. I know this isn't an RPG, but getting used to playing again is going to help a lot in some of the later really hard levels. So you see that ominous looking pit over there? Yeah! It's actually where we're going. Well, Ninja, how are we going to get there? I regret nothing! This will help us get ready for true orcs on. Now we fought these things before. The name, main goal is to eliminate the generators. Ow. I will say though, this area is no joke. I have died many a time in here. And these stupid dogs circling me is what always seems to get me. That or the missile soldiers have really good vantage points coming up. But this area looks really cool. And I feel like it would have been a huge bummer if I didn't explore this aesthetically unique and really actually pretty beautiful in a certain sense area of the game. Even if I am half dead now. Come on, flip back. Good job, Ratchet. Hear the cat's meow. See, I can do bad puns too. I just normally choose not to. That strategy actually works quite well. I'll probably use that for the remainder of this area. There we go. We're cooking with lava now. Good job, team kill. Making my job a little easier. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, the health showed up there and I thought I got hit. But somehow, some way, I didn't die. Maybe I can get him to run into the lava. Come on, run into the lava. Jerks. You won't even kill yourselves for me. How am I supposed to expect a fair fight when you won't even kill yourselves for me? And we just gotta play it nice and slow. Don't do anything stupid. We still have a two ex we still have an extra hit left before we're at risk of dying.
Oh god. Controller spazzed out there for a second. The hitbox on this um foot is kinda weird. I almost walked right into the lava. Oh god! I don't want to die. Not now, not when I'm right at the end. And it probably is safe enough to just run past these guys at this point. But really, first off, part of the reason I came down here was for bolts and combat experience. Without having the big weapons, I've got to learn how to fight better than... Oh my god, how did I not get hit? Oh god! Where? Where? There's two of them! That is not fair! They're not allowed to be two! That is against the rules! Especially when I only see one! And ladies and gentlemen, that is what killed you nine times out of ten in this little area. Is there still another? How many are there? Did you bring an entire planet's worth of them? I said two is against the rules, so three, you're breaking international law. Oh, God. Thank you, Blaster, for helping me to not die from the things and stuff. Huh. Well, let's just let's just marvel at this room really quick. Somebody had to program that in. It's like a semi-hot lava spire. That is just cool. Ah. Uh, don't want to die. Especially not now that we beat it. <laughs> For some reason, no matter how good I play, I always come out of there with one piece of, with one unit of health left. And for our troubles, we get a gold bolt, an ammo refill, the experience of the cave, and some cash. Not particularly worth it in this run, at least from a strategic standpoint. But from an aesthetic stand from an aesthetic one. Very cool. Okay, now we have some choices. We can go back and finish Battalia. We can go and finish Orkson. Well, actually we can't. We can go to Battalia or Pokitaru. I think we should head back to Battalia just to get it over with. Though I will say, you actually do not have to do this in order to finish the game. This is just like the extra stuff episode. I'm not completionisting, I'm not, I'm not completing the game, but the stuff that I'm getting is going to be very useful down the road. I don't want to die, but we're probably going to die now. I don't want to be killed. But I probably won't be alive for long, alive for long. This loading screen is really decent. And here we go. So like I said, you don't have to do what I'm doing to finish the game if you decide you want to play along for whatever reason. Oh, and if you don't still have a PlayStation 2, there is a high-definition remaster of this game that you can play on PS3 or 4. I'm choosing not to play that because first off, I don't have a PS3 or 4, and second off because I feel like a lot of the aesthetic is lost with high-definition remakes. I feel like so much effort goes into polishing things up that not a lot of Visuals really get added. Hi there, fuzzball. And that's fine, it certainly attracts a lot of people's eyes, but it seems more superficial to me than anything else. 
almost kind of like a facelift. More than anything substantial. There's, a, there's an old phrase that I'm sure you know, that beauty is only skin deep. I believe that applies to video games as well. And while some people might need that skin deep beauty to keep on playing, I am not one of said people. And hello, Magna Boots. This is going to take a while, so I think I'm going to speed this up. Actually, I'm definitely going to speed it up. We're going to make a tradition of that for Magna Rail Tracks. Three, two, one, go. I'm going to keep on talking though, because my setup was so simple and funny to you guys. And this is Ratchet and Clank, so funny is alright by me. Okay, just be focused and don't fall off. You can fall off, I don't want to fall off. Falling off is bad for falling off this. I'm falling off, man. Town pants. Ah! Yep, this planet is really super cool. And we're watching rain falling upside down, which is kind of surreal. Yeah, I actually can just speed this up anyways. I'll just cut out the voice before I set up when I'm talking about it. No, I better speed it up. Here I am waffling and letting you guys in on it. Okay. Waffling and letting you guys in on it. Okay. Welcome to Planet Battalia's Inner Fortress. Ow! In terms of deadly areas in this game, this actually isn't so bad. And I only really got hit there because I got careless. I do believe we will have to fight a tank in here, but I don't think we're going to have to fight more than one. Why? Why? As soon as I open my mouth. Oh god. Got to stay out of range and be careful. Oh god! That, ah! No! None of that! Shame on you! Good! I got one of them. We're just going to take this nice and slow. And we're not even going to die. Because I am getting, I am remembering how to play the game. Oh God, no, run, run, flee. Evacuate, retreat. Yeah, the blaster's not a bad weapon. Even if I did have the Devastator, I probably would use it for a good portion of the af of the late game. And there's the door. Congratulations, fellow enlightened gamers. We have conquered the Battalia Fortress. Now I'm going to be quiet because there's going to be some talking up ahead. And I don't think you're going to want to miss it. Hey, hey, I know you two. Look, the plumber's back. Very funny. What are you doing here, sir? Maintenance. What else? I help fix this planet's useless air defenses. Well, I think you'd better hurry up. The turret works fine, you little yahoo. It's the locals. They haven't got the skilled manpower to use it. I'm a pretty good shot. You? No, I could lose my job. Oh, come on. What's the sense of keeping up a turret if nobody's going to use it? Besides, the blog chased you off the last planet. Why don't we pay him back? Well, all right. Go on if you want. Just don't break anything. 
Okay, the turret fires missiles, I believe. So if that is the case, I will be coming dangerously close to breaking the no explosives clause. But considering it is the only way to get past this segment, I'm gonna let it slide. And that's what we do for this segment. We shoot missiles that get close to a, to close enough to us to be dangerous, and we shoot down the Blarg bombers. Just be patient and don't be dumb. I got hit by something. Oh God! Why? Well, look who's awake. You're lucky I was here to drag your unconscious keister out of that tank. Good news is, I got the cannon fixed again. Okay, this might take a couple tries. Take two. There it is. I didn't even see it. Oh, I got a skill point. I got hit. Okay, we got two of the suckers down. Let's get this one. I kind of like the aesthetic that the Blarg bomber ships all kind of look like fish. I guess you could even say that they're wind fish. Ha! Huh? Zelda reference in a Sony game. It's a good Sony game, though. And time to take down the Lunker. The big old fish. Super fish, even. You know, fish is supposed to be a superfood. I wonder if super fish would be super superfood. Oh God! Well, well, well. Looks like he's good for something after all. Here, take this. What is it? It detects underground bolts. My grandfather designed it to suck up loose change on any planet in the galaxy. What a cheap old man he was. <laughs> well, since you now own the metal detector, a bolt icon will show up on screen whenever you are near a buried stash of bolts. When equipped, the metal detector will give you signals to indicate your proximity to the buried bolts. The detector plate will always indicate the direction to the bolts. Hold down the circle button to activate the device. As you move closer to the bolts, the rings will become redder and the beeping will become faster. Continue holding down the circle button and once you are directly over the bolts, the metal detector will suck them out of the ground. Basically works like a normal metal detector from our world except that there's a magnet in it apparently too. So if we have to search for bolts in some area, this could definitely reduce the time it takes to grind for bolts in case I screw up, which happens frequently. It happens more frequently than I would like to admit, but I'm not afraid to admit it. And congratulations, we are now completely done with Planet Battalia. We might even be 100% because I got that skill point. Actually, you know, while we're here, I th that's my first skill point. I'm going to go to options and I'm going to check them. No, it's not in options. It's in health? Or is it? I guess I can't see him until after I beat the game once. Let 
Maybe I'll annotate or something what skill point I got. But, enough of that for now. It's time to get out of the storm-tossed sea of Battalia. And head to a whole new world. A sunshine park with things to do. Ninja, why would you sing? Can't carry a tune. Even if you were... Even if there was a gun pointed at you. I'm aware. I apologize. We need to check out the resort. Yay. I think we're going to do the mini quest for this planet. Like with most planets, there's a shorter mission and a longer one. Oh, we finally build up our quick select. You know what? I'm not even going to risk it. You know, it's funny. I never hear this planet really talked about amongst Let's Players or anybody. But when it comes to Ratchet & Clank's music, this is one of the very first tracks I usually think of. Normally it goes Metropolis, Kerwan, then uh, Velden, which was the planet we started on, and then Pokitaru. Pokemontaru. We're going to explore the scenic Jawai Resort sewers because there's some, nothing better that we could do with our time. This will actually be helpful to us, especially later in the game. And I'm pretty sure this is a hydro displacer area. I forgot to hold my breath! Good thing I didn't have to hold it for long. The swimming isn't that bad in this game. It always kind of irks me whenever people talk about water levels in games, like they're this unholy abomination that never should exist. When water levels are usually the most atmospheric levels in the game, and they often have the best music as well. And they're not usually that tough. They just normally slow down the gameplay a little bit, especially if it's a platformer. But Ratchet and Glanks really don't even slow, down, slow it down all that much. There's a confession from me. I actually like water segments in games. Okay, I think I get this one. This one seems pretty simple. Yeah, this one was ri- Oh, crap. There we go. Not too bad. I think we need to go back to that Hydro Displacer. We definitely have to go back to that Hydro Displacer, which means I'm going to have to hold my breath. So there isn't going to be any commentary for a few seconds. Believe it or not, I'm actually recording these enough ahead that the first episode hasn't aired yet. So, I don't even know if this holding my breath thing bugs you guys. Not that most of you seem all that interested enough to comment, but... That was really negative. You guys don't have to comment if you don't want. Forgot to hold my breath! Why? Two. Mm. 
That was unpleasant. It's almost like I swallowed too much. It's almost like I swallowed too much oxygen. It felt like it was in my stomach. And it just kind of hurt. That was dumb. Yay! For a frame of reference, just in case you guys thought that these enemies look familiar if you've never played a Ratchet and Clank game, Insomniac are also the minds behind the old Spyro games. Specifically Spyro's one through three and possibly one one or the, one of the others. But like with Crash like with Crash Bandicoot, it was when Insomniac was taken off the project that things kinda headed south for that franchise. Thank goodness Insomniac still makes Ratchet and Clank. That's like the only icon that Sony still has. I say that and I've heard really good things about games like The Last of Us. Which I've never gotten to play because again, I don't have the console. Because again, I don't have any money. Hey Ninja, you sound like a broken record! Why would you break our record? Broken. There we go, not too bad. Is this the end? Nope, I'm gonna have to hold my breath again. And to think, if I would've just waited and got the O2 mask, I won't have to hold my breath ever again. I don't really feel like I need to worry about spoiling that since the game's already done a pretty good job of that. It's good to miss! This is really painful! <gasps> Apparently, that triggered my acid reflux not being able to breathe, so that's fun. Anyways. Three, two, one. <gasps> I just kind of like... I'm, I'm kind of nitpicky about this, but I like to blow up all these boxes. So I left a nut behind there, but I'm just gonna leave it. Three, two. <gasps> and the last leg. <gasps> Stupid dolt. 
And we're back in. Three, two, one. <gasps> no, that time I didn't get a good enough breath because I hit the wrong button. Three, two, one. You know, it's funny how often video games do this that I've discovered, but normally holding your breath underwater is pretty accurate in terms of how long you can really do it compared to in video games. There we go. Uh Let me just think about this one for a few seconds. And speed up. this segment and consequently this episode hey what are you doing here i'm searching for a very elusive and secret substance Reritalium. <laughs> um maybe the oceans on this planet are said to be an excellent source of that element well not anymore all that toxic dumping has obscured any trace of it you will find raritanium for me no i will not Junk. My latest invention, the Persuader. I intended to use it to control minds, but well, the only thing it's gotten me so far is a discount from Gadgetron vendors. Hey, I could use that. Well, I'll trade it for some raritanium. I believe that a token is a source of that element. Okay, guys. I've had some problems with my body again in this episode, but... Not too bad. Ah. Well, before things get any worse, I've been Ninja X. Until next time, as always, stay enlightened. Hello everybody, Ninjox here. Thank you very, very much if you made it this far into the video. If you want to show more support, you can subscribe to see more of my channel stuff. You can feel free to click on any of the links on the screen to check out my past videos or go to my channel and check them out if you don't have annotations available to you. Please be liberal with likes and feel free to ask me anything in the comments. As this is a very small channel, I have no problem answering any persistent questions you have and even listening to suggestions. If you want to show even more support, you can go and check out the Facebook page. Well, that's all I've got to say. Until next time, as always, and as I've already said, stay enlightened. <laughs>